of Sky Blue FC as we get underway here. In and so is Sky Blue. They faced a difficult game last weekend in the rain at home. But a beautiful night here as Killian. She likes to switch the point of attack. This ball is given away. Nagasato sitting on the edge of the line trying to spring in at every any moment. Here she is connecting. It's Colaprica Huerta who picks off the ball here. Looks for Nagasato. Can she beat Stott? She does. Nice step over. The slip ball doesn't make it through. Separate herself just enough to get away from her defender. Slot that far post. I think that should be a goal. Those are two years. Well, I think after the first game against Houston, they were a little unsure how they were going to show up until some of these big players got back, including the Sam Kerr, Julie Ertz. Big Gilliland. for them this past week. Sorry, Lori. Gilliland friends. Vasconcelos. She scores at will. She can do it all. Assist. Score with her head. I mean, she's just an unbelievable player, but at the same time, she can really make it to... When you see Sofia Huerta score from there, I'm sure Carly Lloyd's thinking, I can do that too. Colaprico spreading the ball wide. It's Alyssa Motz. Field just gives the ball away carelessly again, and now Chicago Red Stars go right after them, see if they can break. Nagasato commits four players. Now it's Gilliland, one on one with Gibbons. She gives it away. But her early defensive work wins it right back. But it's been careless giveaway by careless giveaway by both teams. The ball, I really appreciate that they want to keep possession, tight little passes, numbers around the ball. But at the same time, if they want to open up this Scott, or excuse me, this Chicago team. Here's a good chance. Vasconcelos, some pressure winning the ball back, and then you're able to possess a little bit better. Nagasato. Looking for Mots, but strong on the ball. Can find seams with her passing, though. Can't connect to Becky. And then the space is there for Chicago. It up. Finds Vasconcelos. There's Aaron Gilliland. The good overlapping run, but she can't connect. Here's Gilliland. Wins the ball back high. Chicago now with numbers. Four runners in the box. Nagasato with a little flick. <laughs> Not quite what she wants. It's not what you want. You're coming in here with fresh legs, even though you're traveling. We've mentioned a few times already. Lead. It happened in the first minute of play. Sofia Huerta find a little pocket of space and buried the ball far post. Here's the ball and not giving away poor, I, I feel like it's the poor sloppy giveaways in the midfield that's really been hurting them. As Motz slips in behind, she's offside. That was a late, get it. Killian gives it away. Here's Chicago. Huerta winning it. It's deflected by the Red Stars. And at this point in time, it, Jersey's, Jersey's attack is just too predictable. So it can't connect. Does enough with that header to find her teammate. Then Nagasato just off the ref and right to Huerta. And here comes Vasconcelos by her in space. Chops it back. Well defended by Skrasky. Nagasato! Just gets around it too much. Can't get anything on target. But good attack by... He chops the defender there. Runs right on by and she's free one-on-one. -on -one getting to goal. Man, if she cuts the defender, it also just buys her a little bit more to the ball. Just the technical, little technical things that are a bit off for them. And I think that comes down to them not playing a ton of games. 
I mean, it is a little bit of a mismatch right now with Chicago. Tons of. Chicago find, finding Nagasato. She's been a bright spot for them up front. I like this spot for Sofia Huerta, playing out of the midfield. She's able to see the seam, find different little pieces of... Help them figure out a way to break that deadlock. Nagasato plays a tricky ball back into the midfield. She can get some things going, link up with McCaskill, link up with Carly, Lloyd, and, and Rodriguez. As you see Becky there, defending Huerta. Nagasato. Whew. Becky's moved back into to the right back position. Freeman came out. McCaskill just getting tripped up over the ball there. And it's Nagasato who ends up finding possession. Can Huerta keep it in? Slow to get up is Carly Lloyd. Maybe wasn't expecting that tackle to come so quickly. Alyssa Mott, though, is ready to size up the defense. Finds Camo. Camo running through. She's the one that's picking that ball up, looking the turn, and then playing Carly Lloyd. And when one of your strikers deeper than your midfield, it makes it difficult to get anything going in the attack. So it's always a numbers down situation. Some headers. But yeah, if you're, if you're Scott Blue, you want to get some more players in there. You need a goal. They got to defend now. Nagasato has Mott at the far post. Looking. Sky Blue unable to keep it alive. And then Nagasato reads it perfectly. But Skrosky tries to battle her out. Nagasato wins it. And now here comes Chicago. Where Camo sends it up and out. Doesn't want to deal with it. Huerta, Chicago. Goal, but not enough to beat Alyssa Nair. Jersey can escape here with a point. That's a critical point for them this early in the season. Nagasato ends up getting the ball back. Brings Gibbons along. Killian just misplays it, and there's Nagasato. The defensive work by her, we just mentioned, is smart, tactical, pack. They might come out of it with seven points. Pretty good run from them. Remind me where uh, Cola Prico played college again? Cola Prico played at. Here's Groom. Excuse me, that wasn't. Groom, that's Meehan. Lloyd. Just surrounded by Chicago players. Nagasato dribbles, eats up some of the time. Becky can't keep it in, and that's going to be it.